Hey guys, welcome back to another video and today we have a docking station from Tobin One. If you remember, we have done a couple of other ones for Windows and Mac compatible devices. So this time we have for the Mac operating system and this docking station have a lot of features to talk about. First of all, what comes in the box, we have the docking station itself, which looks very sleek, very modern design. And you can actually put your laptop on the top, which we will be talking about in a while. And then we have the power brick comes with it to power this device up and then we have a a dual USB-C cable to connect from the docking station to your laptop as well. Then of course there is a user guide which provides information about the compatibility, the information about the ports and all the other important stuff you can check that out as well. Let's talk about the device itself. Of course a very sleek design as I mentioned. On the left hand side we have the lock. Then we have the two type C 10 GB per second ports here on this side. Then we have on the other side of course the power button, audio jack and we have the SD card slot for the SD and micro SD card so which you guys can see here on this side. And then at the back of it we have the Ethernet cable which provides the 2.5 GB per second Ethernet power for the fast network connectivity. This is how it's been separated that this is the display one you can use for the HDMI and the display two options are HDMI you want to use or the display port you want to use so you can utilize that one. Then we have the two USB ports here and the orange one which is my favorite at this point because to do a fast data transfer for the 10 GB per second so which comes in very handy then we have the power USB-C here host 1 and host 2 USB-C is here it's quite straightforward so what we're going to do next we're going to connect with these two monitors we have here with our laptop and then we see how this thing performs all right guys so the setup was quite straightforward so as you guys can see I have connected all my devices here also it, it just looks very clean as well that's the one thing I like about this docking station which I personally will be using at my home setup for this one because I like it it's so sleek and it's it just very very, very nice the most important thing about this docking station to talk about is compatibility with the monitors and uh, other things before that i wanted to talk about the pricing so for example this one at this moment the unit price is actually 320 uh, usd but at this point it's on offer for 240 usd is on the sale let's go uh, down on the website as you can see you can actually connect the dual 4k monitors which we have mentioned about so we have also connected with the two monitors and i have previously mentioned in my video also one thing i like about their websites and all these things is very clear like what you are buying and what this device is compatible with so they do give you enough information to go through and then to make a decision based on this information that so you don't buy a wrong product and they also have another model which is the uh, ends with the w the same model number this one is with the m i believe is for the mac that's why they use m and this is for the windows okay so in this one the compatibility is with the uh, windows only and the mac operating system is the one we are using so let's go back to our product the m version and talk about the compatibility here so they have provided the all the information that which are the models who are compatible with the 4k dual screen or one screen and all that devices which are not compatible with it is the all mac mini you cannot connect with that all mac studios all imac all mac pros and all windows laptops so this is very clear here but what is compatible with with the which supports the dual monitors are these macbook pro models with the m3 chips m2 chips m1 chip the macbook air 13 inch 2020 2019 even 2018 is able to support the dual monitor screen and then suppose the one model the macbook pro uh, 14 inch uh, which is the m3 chip m2 chip 2022 m1 2020 and some of the macbook air models in terms of the display quality it, it gives a very nice display also and then with the uh, stand with this design i think the the intention here is to keep it higher on the level as this show here so you can have more airflow and keep it cool and everything because it does get a little bit warm uh, when you are connecting to it but uh, not very noticeable so which is also good then for the mac mst modes for the single display dual display and triple display these are the resolutions you can work with as well and for all the data transfer speed and all while we were working on it we have tested it it give the same what they provide in the information on the website or in the uh, user guide as well we have a good experience i think two years now using the tobin one products for our windows for our mac overall very good experience with them this docking station features two dedicated usb-c host ports for connecting to your laptop compatible with mac laptops it is however not compatible with windows and other mac operating systems 
With a power delivery port delivering up to 100 watts, it keeps your laptop fully charged even under heavy workloads. The docking station includes two USB-C and one USB-A port. It's supporting 10 GB per second transfer speeds for fast data access. Additionally, it provides two USB-A 3.0 ports with 5 GB per second speeds, ideal for connecting peripherals like an external hard drives or other high-speed devices. For display, it supports dual 4K monitors featuring two HDMI ports and one display port, each capable of resolution up to 4K at 60 Hz. Do note, however, the MacBook's running with M1, M2, M3 chips can only extend up to one monitor. Networking is streamlined with a 2.5 GB per second Ethernet port for the fast and reliable internet connectivity. The docking station also includes a 3.5 mm audio jack for microphone and headphone support, catering to communication needs. In terms of storage, the docking station offers SD and microSD card slots that can be used simultaneously. Ideal for creatives handling large media files. Additionally, a lock slot provides security for shared or office environments. All right guys, so I hope I have covered all the features of this amazing device. A short video, I understand there's a lot of things which we have talked about, but mostly the important thing is the data speed which we have tested displays the resolutions and all these things works perfectly fine if you guys have enjoyed this video don't forget to like the video and subscribe to the channel for the all the upcoming videos all these these links for the website and the product itself i'll be dropping that in the description of this video so don't forget to check those out i'll see you guys in the next video until then take care and bye bye